Well, we've got our part-time jobs and our L plates, so now it's time to find our first car. What better place to start the search than the Sydney Motor Show? Hey guys, we're here at Sydney Darling Harbour and we're looking for our first car. We've got a rock solid job at the Golden Artist and plenty of cash in our pocket. We're here to consult the experts. Let's go check it out. Do you reckon this is the car for us? I think it would just be the perfect first car, but perhaps uh, mum and dad may not be so keen on uh, what it would cost them to give it to you. What does a car like this cost? Uh, the value of this particular car, an Aston Martin 177, uh, is in excess of $2 million. Thank you. Ready? Hi guys, today I'm here with Michael from ANCAP. Michael, just tell us a bit about what our ANCAP does. Well, ANCAP's been crash testing cars for about 20 years. Basically, we go to our car dealers, buy a car, we've got a, a series of crash tests that we conduct and we assign a star rating to the vehicle. Um, you, you can see there's uh, dummies in the car. They measure the risk of injury if it was a real occupant. And so we look at that information and, uh, and give the public a star rating. Now when we started uh, 20 years ago, the, uh, there were some pretty bad vehicles around, a very high risk of injury in this type of crash. Um, this, actually, this wreck is actually from a 64 kilometre per hour crash against a barrier. And this vehicle did particularly well. Uh, what should I be looking for in terms of safety uh, in my first car? Well, it's very difficult if you haven't got much to spend, but what we are finding is that um, probably cars uh, five or six years old, second-hand cars like a Commodore, Falcon, are certainly much safer than uh, a ten-year-old car. Um, obviously it's going to cost more money, but the safety is there. Um, the, the sad truth is that a lot of people get into a, a, a fairly old car for their first car and they get into a serious crash and they're injured, whereas if they'd been in a modern car, they wouldn't be injured. So Michael, uh, what sort of advice do you have for young drivers just starting out? Well, the first thing is, uh, if you're looking at vehicles, our ANCAP ratings go back to vehicles from, uh, built from about 1999. So if you're looking at a vehicle in that range, go to the ANCAP website, look at the star rating, look at the risk of injury, and try and choose a vehicle within your budget that has the best performance. Thanks so much. Don't go away, you're watching the crew.